And humanity starts with Adam and Eve. Adam was the first man formed by God. And Adam and Eve begat Cain, Abel, and Seth. Cain killed Abel, and the Lord disinherited Cain, and humanity continued on through Adam and Eve's son, Seth. Noah is of the lineage of Seth. And Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And in the days of Noah, the Lord caused the flood to come and destroy the earth. So on this side of the flood, the whole world was repopulated from Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Noah is our direct link on the other side of the flood to Adam and Eve. So Ham is the father of the children that the world know as Africans. Japheth is the father of the children that the world know as Gentiles or either white people. And out of the lineage of Shem, you get Abraham. And the Bible refers to Abraham as the Hebrew. Not that he was a Hebrew, but they refer to him as the Hebrew because the word Hebrew means wanderer. And the Lord called Abraham to come out of the land of his nativity, which is Ur of the Chaldeans. And the land of Ur is in present-day Iraq. And he caused him to come into a land that he didn't know nothing about, which was the land of Canaan, Ham's oldest son. And he was going to give Ham's oldest son, Abraham, to Abraham for possession. And out of Abraham, you got Ishmael and Isaac. Ishmael is the father of the Arab nation. And out of Isaac, you have Esau and Jacob. Esau is referred to as Edom and his descendants as Edomites. And these are the people that the world accepts as Jews today. And out of Jacob come the 12 tribes. Because Jacob had 12 sons and one daughter. And the Lord changed Jacob's name from Jacob to Israel. And his 12 sons became the 12 tribes of Israel. And it's here that our history began. So you see how close and how far back we go? Because we are only a handful of generations down from Adam and Eve where we come into the picture. And we're going to pick our history up from Jacob and his 12 sons. Now, We'll go into Genesis, the 25th chapter, to start off. Genesis 25, and we're going to start reading at verse 19. Genesis 25 and 19. All right, my brother, go ahead. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padanaram, the sister to Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. So now Rebekah was barren. She couldn't have children. And her husband went and prayed to the Lord on her behalf, and he opened up her womb and allowed her to conceive. And the children, the Bible says, struggled within her. So I guess that was a pretty rough pregnancy that she was having. And she was questioning in her mind that if this is a blessing from the Lord, why am I having such a hard time with this? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And this is what the Lord told her. Continue at verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Now, this is Isaac that we are reading about. And the two children that was in his wife's womb was Esau and Jacob. And the Bible tells you that even though these are brothers, he said you get two manner of people in your womb. And you're going to have two nations of people. So even though Esau and Jacob are brothers, they are going to be different.